हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand generalized configuration of fiber optic communication system. The fiber optic communication system consists of information transmitter (OE) source, which is opto electronic source, input channel coupler, optical fiber repeater, output channel coupler (OE) detector, receiver, and information. Here. the information input is the physical form of information for example it can be voice video and data that has to be communicated and it will be passed over a transducer so at the input side we will be having a input transducer which is also known as a sensor which converts physical signal into electrical signal for example microphone converts sound signal to electrical signal so that is the example of transducer the next stage is transmitter which is also known as modulator the role of transmitter is to convert the electrical signal into optical form so the electrical signal should be converted into optical form as well as this transmitter has to couple the resulting optical signal into optical fiber so that is the function of transmitter so it has to convert the electrical signal into optical form as well as it has to launch the resulting optical signal into optical fiber so we can say it has to couple or it has to launch the signal into the optical fiber the next stage is oe source which is opto electronic source the opto electronic source generates the electromagnetic wave so if we say electromagnetic wave which is nothing but light so it will generate the light so here common source for optical fiber are led and ild so which is injection laser diode so led as well as ild generate a stable signal frequency electromagnetic wave by turn a light source on and off rapidly so the important property of led and ilad are they are compact lightweight moderate power dissipation and easy to modulate next is coupler coupler is available at both input as well as output so the coupler collects the light signal from oe source and it send it efficiently to the optical fiber cable so the coupling losses may be large due to reflection as well as limited light gathering capacity of the coupler so there might be some coupling losses when the coupler send the signal over a optical fiber in optical fiber channel means the optical cable consisting of a single or bundle of fibers the optical fiber act as wave guide and transmit the optical pulses towards the receiver so in optical fiber the signal is transmitted by the principle of total internal reflection the information channel should have low attenuation for the frequency being transmitted and also it should have large light gathering capacity the channel must also have low dissipation in both time as well as frequency domain because dissipation will cause distortion of propagating signal so dissipation will cause distortion of propagating signal next repeater after a long distance the optical signal become weak and it will degrade due to scattering absorption and dissipation the repeater which is optical amplifier is used for restoring the strength and shape of the signal so after long distance the signal will become weak and degraded that's why the repeater which is an optical amplifier is used to restore the strength and shape of the signal most commonly used amplifier is edfa amplifier which is erbium duped fiber amplifier here the output channel coupler will have the same function as the input channel coupler 
Now let us see OE detector. This converts the optical signal to electrical signal. The OE detector will convert the optical signal which is received into the electrical signal. For this, semiconductor pin diode or avalanche photodiode are used. The photo current developed in OE detector is proportional to the incident optical power. If the detector is good, the detector should have the following characteristics like it should be small size, low power consumption, linearity, fast response to the optical signal. Then finally we have receiver. The output of the photo detector is filtered to remove the DC bias. After filtering the photo current, it is amplified if needed. So since the signal is transmitted for a longer distance, the signal will be amplified if it is necessary. For digital transmission, in addition to filter and amplifier, a decision circuit can be included. So for digital transmission, a decision circuit may be included, which is an additional circuit. In analog transmission, analog to digital conversion can be required. So here the information is similar to the information at the input side. This is about the generalized configuration of a fiber optic communication system. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.